my name is Orion, and I'm afraid. But I'm most afraid <sighs> of the dark. Ta -da! Is it me or am I more excited about this than you are? Orion in the Dark was my fifth fifth show with Nick Rose, and it was a great opportunity to be a part of this show as this was the first feature animation which was primarily like done in Micro's animation Bangalore and it was also my first feature film. It was a great opportunity. Orion came with a bunch of challenges for each and every department and a lot of things we had to achieve which was a combined effort of two or three or maybe more departments to achieve that. For example, this movie has a theme of watercolor, paper texture and tone lines. So all these required a lot of R&D back and forth between the departments. Considering the visual style, how we achieved in uh, post, it is uh, something like uh, we have to work out on uh, achieving a painterly look uh, almost in each and every shot where we have used uh, some of the uh, custom made softwares to achieve uh, the painterly effect and almost to uh, get the tool line effect on top of all the 3D environments, which is something very new. As a team, we have uh, cracked how to uh, implement those brush strokes in each and every environment and uh, set to get exactly what we want. And based on uh, the color art, like it's not only on the environment, even in any of the clouds we see, uh, the patterns, what we see, each and everything will have that painterly brush stroke effect. And that's something really uh, amazing work what we have delivered us. Orion and Dark had a lot of special characters. We call them as uh, night entities like uh, sleep, dreams, insomnia, and explain noises. So each of these characters had a specific characteristic and a unique functionality which we need to give it. So a traditional rigging approach did not work here. We did a lot of customization of the rig puppet and we also collaborated with uh, animation and the CFX team to make a balance between what needs to be achieved with uh, cloth and fur simulation and what can be handled with a procedural uh, rig approach. The best part of it is that it was more of a collaborative approach where you know we were working together hand in hand with the directors from DreamWorks and they were also very cooperative. They were receptive to, receptive to the suggestions that we made. All the final look and feel that we achieved was a process of evolution from the design stage to all the iterations and R&D that we did along the process. And finally, this is where we are in the final look and feel of the movie. For example, the kind of uh, details on every single edge of every element that you see in a, in a background is all hand modeled. Right? And then nothing is symmetrical, nothing is parallel. Everything has got some asymmetries and you know, non-parallel, a little bit lean uh, or shift towards one direction. So all of that had to be manually modeled and every artist had to specifically pay attention. It had to be done in such precise level that it, if it, it's not too loud, you have to maintain that balance that everything is having the rhythm. In addition to the edge detail, there is also, if you look carefully at every frame, there is this very fine 2D lines that we see generally in the comic book. So that's again something that uh, we did a lot of R&D, we tried a lot of procedural methods and you know, we have worked on tune shaders and tune lines in many previous projects and then we found a way where we still get that edge breakup at the same time it works in all the angles that we see but the it is not never about showing each and every leaf detail and then similar approach we also had to try out even for the character's hair well, for example Orion's hair the development of hair itself uh, went on multiple iterations where the original design the hair was not supposed to have too much of detail, so we had to find different ways and approaches and finally get to the look that we finally have on that show. And similar approaches applied for many of the other main characters as well. And my favorite scene from Orion will be when the Orion and the Dark, they meet the, for the first time. And it's like very funny. Uh, also, this Orion is very scared, but it's a great start of this movie. And, uh, and it's also a start of an amazing adventure they'll go through. There is a shot when um, he finally he drops Ori to his house, but uh, he doesn't want to leave Dark, the one who was fearing Dark earlier. That's uh, kind of a very, uh, I mean, Dark himself is very happy with what he has achieved rather than what he has done so far. So that's the kind of a scene which was very touching and amazing. We were all super excited to be uh, part of this uh, feature film and it has boosted all the team's confidence to uh, a very high extent. Yeah.